a Slim Good Body production. children. Good morning, Mrs. Peterson. Today, we'll be learning about ways to become better listeners. Better listeners? What does listening have to do with life skills? Listening is one of the most important ways to get information from other people. Information about what's going on around you. Information you can use to stay healthy for the rest of your lives. But I already know how to listen. That's true, you do. But listening is a skill at which you can become better and better. And that's important, because without good listening skills, people wouldn't really be able to communicate very well. There would be all kinds of misunderstandings. Like what? Well, suppose I gave you a homework assignment to do something. Let's say, keep an exercise log for a week, and you didn't listen well to what I said. What might happen? We might do the wrong homework assignment? Yes. For example, if you weren't listening well, instead of keep an exercise log for a week, you might think you heard exercise on a log for a week. <laughs> or maybe exercise with a hog for a week. <laughs> or even exercise with a frog for a week. <laughs> the example I chose may be funny, but suppose it were a serious situation instead. For example, one that involved following directions in an emergency, like getting out of the school in case there was a fire, then listening well would be absolutely necessary to keep you safe. Excuse me, Mrs. Peterson. Yes? The nurse just gave me a hearing test a few days ago and said my hearing was excellent. But hearing is not the same as listening. How can that be? I happen to have a video here from Slim Goodbody that will help you understand. I'd like us all to watch and listen to it right now, okay? Yay! Hearing and listening aren't the same. The difference is well worth a mention. See, hearing just happens there's no work at all. But to listen, you must pay attention. Now let me give you an example of what I mean. Have you ever talked to someone and suddenly realized they weren't listening? Well, you ask them something about what you've just said and they don't know what you're talking about. They've heard you all right. I mean, you were standing right next to them and your voice was loud enough to reach their ears, but they weren't paying attention. They weren't really listening. Think of the words people speak as messages they're sending or as packages filled with information. Words are like messages someone will send chock full of information. And when you receive them at the other end, you've established communication. But it isn't enough that your hearing is good, cause the message is sent must be understood, and their meaning you still might be missing if you don't really know how to listen. What good will it do if no meaning gets through, no meaning received? Then nothing's achieved. No matter what's spoken, the system is broken. So once more I'll mention, you must pay attention. Paying attention is the first and most important step in becoming a better listener. And the better listener you become, the better the information you can gather. Now let's learn some other things you can do to develop your listening skills. And I've asked a friend to help us out. Hi! Hi. When someone is talking to you, face the person and make eye contact. Hello. Hello. Now, give them some signs you're listening. For example, nod your head. Or saying, uh-huh. Uh-huh. That way, the person you're talking to feels that you're interested. That's right. Now, here's another thing to help you become a better listener. If you don't understand something, ask questions until the meaning is clear. Do, do you mean you can say something like, I don't really understand what you just said. Could you please explain it? 
That's exactly right. You could say that, or you can repeat what you thought you heard the person just say in order to be sure that you do understand. Like, I could try saying the same thing you just said, but put it in my own words. That's right, and that is called feedback. Wow, feedback, good word. When you follow these steps, paying attention, making eye contact, giving signals you're listening, asking questions and giving feedback, you'll become a better listener and you'll be able to not only hear the words someone says, but also hear the meaning and feeling behind the words, what the person is really trying to communicate. You know, listening is so important to good communication. That may be the reason you have two ears, but only one mouth. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Slim. Your assignment for next class is to learn more about listening skills and how they help. Well, who wants to show us what they've learned about listening? Okay, you first. Slim said to look at the person and make eye contact. So we experimented with that. Here's a movie of what we did last Saturday at track and field day. I the hidden camera when we were on the playground. Billy did the talking, and you'll see what happened. Hey, Tanya, congratulations on winning the race. Thanks. I'd like to win a race, too. Got any suggestions? Watch this. As Tanya talks, Billy stops looking at her. He pretends he's interested in something going on behind her. He interrupts her by yelling hello to friends. Sure. You have to work up to it. Get yourself in training. For my race, I ran every day last month. Hey, Tommy. Uh, oh, sorry. Each day a little bit farther, but I made sure I did some warm-ups and cool-downs so I didn't get hurt. Hey, Stevie, what's happening? Then I tried to imagine myself winning. I closed my eyes and sort of pictured it in my head. Oh, never mind. You don't care. You're not even listening. Why did you ask in the first place? You don't care. But before she could leave, Billy tried again. Yeah, and this time I practiced the listening skills Slim showed us. Watch. Wait a second, Tanya. I'm sorry. That wasn't polite. I really am interested. You're such a great runner. Would you please give me some tips? Are you sure you want to listen? I sure do. So how do you think I can run a better race? Well, you have to start training early. Do you mean early in the morning? No, I mean a few weeks before the race. Oh, I see. You have to get yourself prepared ahead of time. Exactly, and try to run at the same time every day. Like make it a habit? Right, but be sure you warm up your muscles so that you don't get hurt. I better get going. Tanya, thanks for talking to me. You really know a lot. No problem. You're easy to talk to. Let me know if there's anything else I can tell you. That's it. That was very nice. Thank you. OK, class, what did you see? Well, the first time, Billy did all the wrong things. He looked away instead of making eye contact. And he interrupted and called out to his friends. And what did that teach you? That when someone is talking to you, you need to pay attention and look at them. Otherwise, they'll think you don't care. And they won't want to communicate anymore. They may even get angry at you. Very good. Now, what about the next time? What did you see? The second time, Billy looked right at Tanya. He nodded. And asked questions. He gave her nice feedback by repeating what she said in his own words. Excellent. Now, let's hear a little more from Slim Goodbody. Everybody, listen. It's important to learn how to listen. Or there might be so much you're missing. So follow these steps and soon you will see what a better listener you will be. Look in their eyes, hear the words being said. And sometimes nod your head. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. that's right. Ask them questions if the words you hear now are clear to your listening ears now. Or repeat what they say, use your own words instead. Give them feedback, show that you heard what they said. Now, I agree, I couldn't have said it better. Mm -hmm. When, when you, you practice, practice these skills, skills you, you gotta, gotta believe. It's, it's better, better information, information you're, you're gonna, gonna receive. receive. Discovering what can
can be done that's good for you and me. Life skills 101, a class that's great for everyone. So take a seat, we've just begun our 